Today, we'll be cracking open a $200 Nerdy Newt Funko Pop Mystery Box. So what this one was called, I just had it pulled up. Here we go. The July Grail Hunt Mystery Box. Went on sale in the middle of July. I actually just got, I actually bought a total of five of them. Two got delivered today. Today's actually Saturday, August 6th. So I got three more on the way still. We're gonna do one today. But before we open up this July Grail Hunt Mystery Box, we got an appetizer, but a different kind of appetizer. Let's see what this is. A few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, I told you whenever I get packages in now from viewers, I'm actually going to use your packages as appetizers for these mystery boxes. So I got this package on July 20th, literally just a couple weeks ago, and it's gonna be the appetizer for this video. So the, this gentleman who sent this to me, he's actually sent, I think, a couple things now to me. His name is the exact same name as my dad's name. So every time I've, I've seen his package come through the mail, I'm always like, dad i'm like oh no <laughs> different address different state but uh before i say his name i gotta make sure it's okay to say it. i don't remember last package of if he said it was okay or not before i actually say people's names on camera you know for thousands of people to see i always like to you know read first because sometimes people do say please don't read on camera don't open on camera then i had to cut that whole, whole part of the video out but here we go let's see what Obviously, his last name is Miller. What Mr. Miller sent me. Oh, we got a note on top. It says, hello, Clint. For years, I have enjoyed watching your videos. Your passion and enthusiasm are genuine and fun. The Amazon box videos can be really interesting. I hope you still have the John Header Sign Pop. Yes, I still have the John Header Sign Pop in my collection, which is Napoleon Dynamite. We'll never get rid of it. I have a huge baseball collection at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. I obtained a batting practice baseball hit by Chris Bryant way down third baseline back in 2017. Chris was my favorite Cub for many, many years. Of course, now he's on the Rockies. It's a really cool baseball for three reasons. First, the baseball was hit by Chris Bryant, which was my favorite Cub for many years. Still breaks my heart that he's not on the Cubs anymore, but I always will be a Chris Bryant fan. Heck of a ball player. Anyway, second, the baseball has the 2017 Arizona Spring Training Stamps. Third, I thought this baseball is extra special because it's the year after winning the World Series. I thought for sure that I could get it signed by Chris Bryant or another proto player from the 2016 World Series Cubs, but that has not happened. I would, I want you to have this baseball in your collection. You can appreciate it a lot more than me because I'm a Pittsburgh Pirates fan. I've been trying to grow my channel, so I'd appreciate a shout out for my YouTube channel, Math Bowler. So there's his YouTube channel, just how it's it's spelled, Math Bowler. I post three videos a week with my through the mail autograph request videos being the most popular. I also post my autograph and our trading card videos as well. Keep up the good content. Sincerely, Stephen Math Bowler. Obviously, you know, his name is Stephen Miller, which is my dad's name. So he sent me, this is awesome. I am a huge baseball memorabilia collector um this is right up my alley so he said this is even a batting prize ball hit by chris bryant that is awesome so i really appreciate this i will this will go into my personal collection of baseballs that's awesome i appreciate that man um math bowler or steven i appreciate that. that's awesome yeah chris I've been a huge Chris Bryant fan since he first came up with the Cubs. He was my favorite ball player on the Cubs. It broke my heart to see him go. I'll always be a Chris Bryant fan until the day I die. But it's still it's still hard to see him in a Rockies uniform, in Giants uniform last year. But yeah, I really appreciate that. Anyway, video time. Details for this box. July Grail Hunt Mystery Box top prizes include the OB-1 Glow, which that one's worth like, what, 600 bucks? The Bank Robber Joker, Flog Tony the Tiger, and more. Two to six pops per box. Uh, it's got pretty good weight to it. It has at least four, if not five or six pops in there. Boxes range of value between $200 to $650 plus, so it's a guaranteed value box. I like hearing that, right? Limited to 75 boxes, three top hits, so you have like less than 1% chance of getting a top hit out. Actually, like, what, 
uh, half of 1% of it, you know, so it's, the odds aren't good to get a top hit, but it's possible. So anyway, let's do this. I've rambled enough already. Let's crack it open. Let's see what goodies I got. 200 bucks, it's guaranteed value box. I mean, so no matter what, you're walking away with something cool. $100 box, you'll probably have at least one pop worth, probably close to 100, if not more. Sometimes, not always. We got box in a box. You now the uh, Nerdy Newt always packs really well all their boxes. Next box. Uh, maybe four pops in there, maybe five. Can't really tell. Or, or it could be one pop that's in like a pop arm, which adds quite a bit of weight and then like one extra pop. That's possible too, it might only be two pops, but one, man, come on knife, but one is in the pop armor. You ready? Let's find out. I would love to reach in, I feel two pops and one's in a pop armor. That'd be awesome. Okay. Now there's there's six pops in here. I think, oh, wait, we do have one that isn't a hard stack. Is it wrapped? I think it's wrapped. That art series. Yeah, it feels wrapped. It's, it's, we'll pull it out first. It's wrapped. Yep. Batman, only at Target exclusive. It is, it's in a hard stack. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. Here you go, next. No protector. The back says Baruto, Bar Naruto Hokage, AAA exclusive, okay. Next. Looks like we have Batgirl. We got the Breast Cancer Batgirl Target Exclusive. That's actually pretty cool. Actually, that pink pop looks really, really nice with the pink box and everything. Actually, looks kind of cool. Next. All these have no protectors, so one that's in a protector. We got Beetlejuice. Uh, Beetlejuice in NYCC 2020. Glow in the dark Beetlejuice. Very nice. Nice hit right there. I'll take that. Definitely. Next. Oh, we got Chester Cheetah. Box lunch exclusive glow in the dark. Chester Cheetah. Everything is like in fantastic condition. Here you go. The next pop's going to be my big hit in this box. Only one that's in a soft pop protector. It actually, I can feel it. It's actually in a 7 bucks pop pop shield pop protector. My fair pop protector. I, I use all my Funko Pops. You ready? Looking at, oh, I've had this thing before. Uh, it has really good PPG value, but I've never gotten close to PPG for this pop. I never have. Let's see, PPG value, not the best box. So far, that baseball I got that's hit by Chris Bryant's 10 times better than this mystery box. But let's see the value. First one, Batgirl, 18 bucks. Chester Cheetah, $32. Naruto, 18 bucks. Beetlejuice, 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 $36. Batman, it's only 15 bucks. The hard case is almost worth more than what the pop's worth. And last one, Scary Terry, coming in at 70 bucks, but I never get 70 bucks for. So Grant told us, 187, so it came in at under PPG guaranteed value. Like this box just shipped, I just got it in today. So I guess it's, poss it's possible that some might have fluctuated, but I would not be too surprised if they accidentally took the special edition sticker, which was worth like three times as much as, as the target sticker and used that value for this one, probably by accident. But yeah, it, it did not meet guarantee value. Like I said, it just shipped out, got this in the mail today. It was pretty close though. It was only off $13, you know. Can't complain that much. It was very, very close. And it's possible that like something like this could have dropped like 20 bucks since it got packaged up like what a week ago. It's entirely possible, but it was pretty much close to guaranteed value and everything will be for sale in the future. Whatnot live auction. Make sure you follow me on whatnot directly down below. The number one collectibles marketplace to buy and sell Funko Pops, records, Pokemon, trading cards. If you can dream it, you can sell it on whatnot. So see you next time.